someone calls you, there's a new project to do. It's at first um, exciting, and you start to think immediately about how to approach it and what cool things you're going to do. The entire thing feels like uh, you're flying a plane while building it, and and uh, you just hope that you get it done when it when it's time to land. If if I create something that make other people wanted to know more or like what's that, how? Then I succeeded. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. The great and boss has spoken. Who are you? The art department is kind of a nerve center for how things are going to happen. Obviously, the production designer head of the art department running everybody, making every final decision. Then you have art directors serving in various more specific capacities. You see a, a, a poster, you see a graphics on the back of a car, and those things, if it's replicated in a film, a designer, a graphic designer, has to be there to, to uh, duplicate or replicate that. Now the way you draw, you should be working in storyboarding. I mean, I thought, wow, that sounds kind of intimidating, and it seemed like this very macho, testosterone-driven industry that would just be full of a bunch of guys talking about explosions and that actually isn't very far off <laughs> but um, <laughs> but I ended up really liking it. On a given day um, you're gonna be asked to do a million different things and uh, having a traditional background albeit fine arts, architecture, whatever it is is gonna give you two legs to stand on when when the crazy requests start coming in. Uh, I found it uh, really useful uh, to have a, a background in industrial design. I'm trained as an architect. I studied uh, communication design. I studied a lot of um, psychoanalysis and symbolism. Abelson was the first woman to work in the scene shop. Continuing, they kept wanting to make me into a costume designer. And I kept saying, no, 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 I want to do walls. I want to do walls. I can do walls. I was trained in the studio systems. I worked my way up. <laughs> With an informal education, the grade comes when you walk in to do the job. And in, in my case, I was always terrified of an angry carpenter with a hammer in his hand. You know, that would basically uh, grade me, <laughs> you know. During the studio system days, you I mean you were part of a family. You were a Fox guy, or you were a Disney guy, or you were a Universal guy. And that's kind of broken down, but that same kind of mentoring uh, family relationship is, is key and it's, it, it's very nourishing. It's very important to have a mentor in the real industry. Not everything happens in a way that it happens in a book. I was very influenced by a, a, a man by the name of Albert Whitlock, who was a, a traditional matte painter at Universal Studios and did such classics as Earthquake and you know Hindenburg and movies like that. We're still doing the same thing. We're extending physical sets. We're just using different tools now, but the same mindset and the same skill set uh, is required to do that. There is definitely a certain amount of intuition that when, when you do a natural media, in other words, just, you know, difference between, you know, classical musician and jazz musician. You can improvise. And that's a beauty. I mean, that's art of it. We as humans, we want to touch things. We want to be able to kind of control our ability to look at things. The model is a tool with different applications. One of them is to be able to sell the idea and motivate another people to participate. The line quality and the sort of human hand that you see in hand-drawn things is always appealing to people. The, the, the tactile feel of paper and the permanence of that of that image definitely is, you know, creates a very different psychology for the artist. We're doing previs. We went and we played around with cameras. We talked to grips. We did all that stuff so that we knew how heavy a camera was. We knew all these things because the virtual camera doesn't have a weight. And that's the same with everything. If you, you have to talk to, um, you know, set builders and designers and, you know, the guy who's hammering the nails has something you can learn. 
I think the future of the art department is simply that we will have a creative blend between traditional techniques and digital techniques. Technology has changed the world. Now with Photoshop being able to produce anything you want to with the millions of brushes that are possible and the world is really your oyster. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Whether it's paper or digital, I think I, um, I approach drawing in much the same way. Preference is 3D Studio Max or Maya. The number one tool for me is my cell phone. Graphite pencils and scale. Color book with a million colors. A Cintiq tablet. A uh, knife. Calculator. And for uh, situations when the stress is going to be high, we also have this. It's the last resource sometimes. And what will satisfy that screenplay? What will reinforce the emotional content of each scene? Being able to break that down analytically uh, is a creative process. When I read a script, I completely have to stop and picture every line of the script. I have a real connection to the human form, and that anything that has people in it, I'm immediately drawn to. I think what makes me uh, happy uh, at the end of the day is, is knowing that, that we, as a team, have created a, a set or an environment uh, that completely fulfills the need of the story. There has to be a collaboration of people working together. It's not just creating things, it's, it's really um, uh, creating an environment to create. You never know who, who is going to be the one at midnight to solve your problem. You don't want it to be the PA that you treated badly yesterday. Honest to God, so you don't treat anybody badly. I've always been a fan of filling my art departments with uh, both the very new and young uh, members and also uh, more experienced members of the crew. That way you get this fantastic array of ideas. A well-trained and experienced art department is and pretty much essential for the scale of some of the things that happen now. An art department that's well trained and is capable of doing the things that's uh, necessary saves money. 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 Money makes the world go round, the world go round, the world go round. And you're paid to really give like the best of you, you know, to, to, to somehow steer that flow. I can remember riding around in the scout van on some silly movie of the week, going, pinching myself, going, God, I'm getting paid for this? The man behind the curtain is just like you. Um, I still dream. I still wonder what's next. Oh, we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does.